Yegev, Tafal Tawarov. You're all very welcome to the 20th Skull Yevri Frankie Kennedy. The Shaw, a Fihu Skull Yevri, Skull Yevri Frankie Kennedy. Uh, you're all very welcome. Uh, the concert tonight is by Fidel and Altan. Uh, the concert has also been streamed live on the internet on livetrad.com. Now, if you want to watch what you've seen here tomorrow again, you can watch it on Livetrad tomorrow. So it won't be uploaded until early tomorrow morning, but the lads will have it all streamed, o streamed on there and you can watch it all again. Uh, there are some people I have to thank um, because the winter school couldn't have happened without them. Uh, I have to thank the Arts Council, Udras Nagelthartha, Ali Nagelthartha, TG Tihar, Radio Nagelthartha, Traditional Irish Music Archive, Tahuri Books, because Gahinta Special Tomar, Akabe Tahuri Bug, New Mar and Child Safarashisha, Enadni Poedrich, Ergil Hostel, Nadini Sakranag, Akadiling, Kaima Tresulule, Edo Koringham at the Janifuma, he's in Chansakul, Agus. Mata Banabi Sakaha will fatty yolari, beach in the Rihanish, Wadi Hulwa. He doesn't know what I've said, so don't anybody translate that. <laughs> so, le two Sakharlish and the Shaw Fidel. Hello! What's it come by? I can't hear. There's nobody out there, Aidan. Yeah, we're going to have to go home. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, how are you doing? God, there's a big crowd in the night here. I don't know what's wrong with you. Well, it's an honour award doing you the fast loo, a current call, you're in that. It's called Yemi Frankie Kennedy. Um, I suppose doing you, this is a special to Tashaga or Ayla, the Tomo Fada Mahil. I have a Mahil like. So, uh, that, 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 that,
Give me the mic up. See, it's bad when you're going for the towel already, isn't it? That's not good. So we're going to play a wee, I suppose, a march this time. A wee tune called the March of the Minotachian Bull. Who is a very famous bull from outside Dunlow, apparently. Anybody from Dunlow in? They're not very loud, anyway, if they are. Um, some of them might have actually known the bull, but this is a, but a very famous bull who, was, uh, who would chase a lot of people around the place. And the only thing that could calm him down was if you had your fiddle with you, if you, if you see him running at you now, you'd calmly put down your fiddle on the ground, open the case, dig out the fiddle, rosin the bow, tune up the strings, and play this tune. And mind you, you have to be very, very quick doing that when you have a bull flying at you like that. But anyway, this is the tune anyway, and we hope you enjoy it.
Let me the mic. Well, in case you haven't noticed, we've played uh, two sets of tunes so far, and we've already played two of Altan's tunes. You see, we decided we're on first, so we're going to play all their tunes before they get a chance to play them. So you're just going to have to start laughing at them when they start playing them then. Only joking. They'll play them ten times better than us. But uh, we're going to continue now with uh, a couple of tunes. Uh, possibly the first tune any of us ever learnt. Uh, or a lot of us. After Twinkle Twinkle, we learned Chew the Donkey. And uh, my grandfather, Francie, had two versions of Chew the Donkey. And uh, so I learned the two of them. And uh, I was asking him, why are we different? Why do we have a different version of Chew the Donkey than anybody else? And he was saying, well, you see, back in the day, uh, donkeys were wild prevalent around Gidor. And there would have been a donkey to every field. And uh, them donkeys on the, on the long winter's nights would have been well lonely. So they would have taught, uh, taught the donkey, they would have pl uh, the fiddle player coming home from the pub would have played the two versions of the shoe to the donkey for the donkey. So the donkey could dance with itself, a couple dance with itself with the front legs and the back legs. First tune was for the front legs and the second tune was for the back legs. <laughs> so it would keep the donkeys going along those long winter's nights. That's all very well until you meet a fella coming the other direction playing the March of the Mina Touch and Bull on a bull coming with him. <laughs> Thankfully that doesn't happen too often. So Shaw, shoot the donkey now.
Thank you. Michael. Thank you. Thank Thanks very much. As a wee set of reel is finishing up with a very popular Alton tune called Dinky Dorian's Reel. And uh, one of the things, you know, I, I, I was asked to tell this story. Um, somebody's seen us in Dublin there recently, and it's a good point to, to tell the story because it's about bowing and about in Donegal fiddle playing. You know, there's a wild emphasis the whole time on the bow, you know, the bow going mad altogether, basically. And I was trying to, I started teaching in Donegal town there. And I have this wee girl coming into me, and she's going to be a great fiddle player. And she's only eight, and she's wild, sto you know, wants to know about the stories and everything behind the music. 
And um, I do kind of tell them wee stories to keep them interested, you know. And one of the stories about Bowen, I says, look, we're going to learn this tune today now, and I want you to practice Bowen. And you have to think about John Doherty's father, because John Doherty, the famous Donegal fiddle player, said that the best fiddle player he'd ever seen was his father. And that was because he was sitting this night in a pub beside a fire on a wee low stool. And he started playing away. And there was a big Irish wolfhound dog right at his shoulder here listening to the music, as Irish wolfhounds do. <laughs> <laughs> and out of nothing, the dog started this while yelping. And he just uh, out the door like a bolt of lightning. And nobody knew what was wrong with the dog until when Mickey, the f John's father, stopped playing, they looked at the top of the bow here, and the dog's eye was on the top of the bow. Now, obviously, you can't say that to an eight-year-old child. <laughs> so I said to myself, and I told, said, well, so Emma, while you were so good with the bow, he took the eye out of the dog and actually put it back into the dog's head before the dog knew it was missing at all. <laughs> so what you should do now is you think about that story now, how good he was with the bow to be able to do that, and go home and practice that tune for me now this week. So that was great. Emma went away home and started practicing. The next Wednesday, she lands in and she looks very sad of herself altogether, you know. And I says, geez, Emma, how are you getting on today? Bad. And I says, why are you bad? Mommy sold the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't mind the dog's name was called Patch. That's even better. What are we going to do? What are we going to do now? Let's do, I'll tell you, we'll do a nice wee Haunt of the Hound there. How about that? I was asked by my granny and Duncan Neely to play this because she's watching at home on live trad this evening. And it was her 92nd birthday on Boxing Day. Give her a big round of applause. Sure. We're going to play The Haunt of the Hound there, which is, and there's a big story to it, which I'm sure you just don't want to hear now after another big story. But basically, you can hear the different parts of the hunt. And it starts off with this happy tune, everybody's happy going out on their day out in the hunt. You'll be able to hear the horns, hopefully, and all this. And you'll be able to hear the chase starting off starting off slow and getting faster and faster, and eventually you'll be able to hear the poor hare getting caught and killed by the dogs. Oh, Louder than that. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. More of that, more sad. Damien, Damien loves the L killing, so he'll do a bit of brutalisation on the L. When he's done, we'll have the L happy march home for the spud, so...
hair dying, by the way. <laughs> Slow things down a wee bit now. We're gonna. Damien here is gonna play a waltz, a waltz that we got from great hero of ours, James Byrne. And uh, want to play this tonight, uh, especially for Kitty, for Granny down there, and for Mammy and Kennedy. Mammy's been very good. She's she was given out to me this morning. She says you're treating this place like a hotel. You get up in the morning, you go out to your classes, and your dinner's waiting there for you, and your knickers are lying warming on the radiator. <laughs> and then you get in at night at five in the morning, banging doors, waking me up. So I've been at that all week. So Sorry, Mammy. It's all over now, you're okay. Uh, so a big thank you to Mammy and to Granny, who's been making turkey soup and sandwiches for us all week.
Michael. Thank you very much. Well, we've got a few guests that are going to come on stage with us now for our last number. Uh, but before we do, invite them up. And if they're behind here, they're probably down the bar, Duncan. But uh, before we do, we want to give a, a big thank you, uh, first of all, to Connor Byrne for asking us to come up and be part of this. Uh, to Garage, uh, my father, and Anne, who ran the winter school for years, and Grimini Mili Maigo for the handrod. To Edo Cunningham on sound, thanks a million. Fair play, Edo. And uh, um, there was one more person. I want to give a big thank you uh, to the band that's coming after us, Alton, for everything they've helped us out with over the years. They've given us a stage to play on. They've, uh, we've been invited to play at festivals with them, lucky enough, and to play on stage with them. And they've, they've opened avenues for Donegal fiddle players all over the world, and we're really grateful to them. So, Camila Mila Maiga Valta. So, all that said, please welcome on stage Mr. Dermot McLaughlin, 
Danny Diamond, and after that, we're going to have Kathleen Nagown on dance. So give them a big round of applause. I, th I just wanted to say a quick word on behalf of the, the founders of the school uh, as well. I know that um, during, the, during the event, um, many people have been thanked. And I would just like to say, um, when we set up this event 20 years ago, uh, the, the idea was um, very simple, maybe naively simple, but also very ambitious. And it was to bring a bit of uh, light and brightness into and, and a very dark time. And um, I think what's been very important for us is the experience that people have when they come here. So we hope that we have succeeded in making a little space where there's uh, illumination and warmth for everyone who visits from all over the world and from all over Ireland. And I just really wanted to go back on, on a comment that Kieran made as well. I think without um, the first point of contact and the last point of contact that everyone has got from uh, the Mooney family, particularly Garage and Anne, I don't think the event would ever have been the success that it has been. So I would like, uh, as a founder of the event, to applaud Garage and Anne again. Thank you. Right, let's get stuck in. We're going to finish off with uh, the old Wheel of Fortune. It's the name of our new CD, which is only about at least four years old at this stage, so you can all buy one downstairs. If you buy a CD, uh, don't be selfish. Don't just get one for yourself, get one for all your friends as well. And do you, if you have any enemies, buy one for them too, they won't like it. <laughs>
Emil Meigel, Kathleen Nagowen, Dermot McLaughlin, Danny Damon. Emil Meigel. They're very tall, those boys. Look at where the microphone is. I thought I was wearing my high heels. Well, she's got my. It's my shin. Um, not a fiddle, just a rose. Garmeel Michael, thank you, fiddle. I think we have to be in tune as well. It's crack going on inside in the dressing room that we forgot to tune. Some of us There's so did. much crack in the dressing room every night then, so. <laughs> it's great that we're here and that you're all here and that we're all in one piece after Seamus Begley last night. Wasn't he great? It was amazing. I liked, especially liked when he took off his t-shirt he was trying to be modest though. it got it got worse <laughs> so okay Fan a gondola Nyal boss, nyal badis, nyal pee 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 Nahador and Nahiti, Erin, for the way, Snapping
Thank you very much. Uh, there were three reels there. Uh, the first tune is called Dark Haired Lass, Biddy from Muckras, and Sean McGuire's. Uh, before that, we had a song. Oh, yes. Um, the song, I should have told you what the song was about. It was called Kathleen Trial. And Kathleen Turrell, it's an old ha harp tune actually that was um, uh, collected by Bunting. And um, then it's a song as well. The, the, I think the words are later. But uh, it's about a man who falls in love with Kathleen. It's a great story because, you know, he falls in love. He, he tells how, much, how beautiful she is. And then next thing he sees her, he, she's drinking with another man behind a bush. Drinking bush behind a bush. <laughs> an I saw a few of those last night. <laughs> an extremely large bottle of it. That's the end of the story. You know, it's very romantic. Well, you know. it's not the end of the story, but you just can't remember. Anything after that. <laughs> but, um, Ni Harley and Sharavinik, I mean, Altan and the Umlan Lichela Aristechet. We're very, very lucky to have two guitarists in the band, two of the finest in the world, Mark Kelly. And also, we have the wonderful, the High Sproul. <laughs> yeah. He just happens to be here. How many of you have seen Spinal Tap? <laughs> I had a Spinal Tap moment at the side of the stage. How do I get through this curtain? I wonder, is this the bit? And I thought, Mairead will announce it, and then you'll just see the curtain waving, and Sprawl will be trying to get through. And yeah, I got through. Yeah. I was Good wondering why you were in before <laughs> I introduced you. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I arrived. You, you couldn't know. wait. No, we're so slick. It's too much. This is slickness, because it's all going out all over the world on live trap. Trad. We are the slickest band in the world. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> Rhymes with... It's irony, it's irony. A while, but you got it. So, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, Oren Grab, Rejogni Walla, Oren Inta Allen, I guess, um, and Sen Oren Shaw being in Firefly Kitch Rake, um, a fan of the Erevan, um, a half, I guess, and you higgin she. So, this is a, t- a classic, um, Irish traditional song in the, in the Irish language where. It's always the same story. The man is uh, broken-hearted, devastated, and abandoned. Uh, so I, I know there are a lot That's of people who c- can identify with that. And then his car breaks down, just to make things worse. And then he can't get any internet in the hotel, and it's just really sad. It's very sad. Should have won his back savers. <laughs>
Mai ke tahan. That's him back to America now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is a set of tunes from our latest album, The Poison Glen. <coughs> Down the road, up the road. Uh, the first tune is called The New Rigged Ship, and the, the second and third tunes we named after an uncle of Kieran Curran's, Hugh Curran, and Ed, Ed Curran, sorry, that was, that was another uncle. <coughs> we'll, not, <coughs> we'll not talk about Hugh. Not good at all. He went, he went under an alias for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really all I'm going to say about that for now. Hello, everybody all around the world. Um, uh, sorry, Paddy, Hugh, sorry, Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Paddy O'Neill in Philadelphia is watching. I just want to say hello. Hello, Paddy. How is it going? Mark Pippinger. Yeah. He's, He's in Arkansas. Hello. Happy New Year, Mark. And we have a list of about 500 other people here. We may as well just do it now.
These two jigs are called the Lancers, and the Lancers were, th that was a type of dance that came in from Europe, or I, I think, you've written a paper about this, I should be talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, don't mind the papers, well. Anyway, it's a dance tune, they used to dance them long ago, and these are jigs, as a part of the Lancers was danced to these. And um, we got these from the great John Doherty, who is a fiddler. We don't know, are you enjoying yourselves? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very hard to see you. I should put on my glasses, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, if you're enjoying yourselves, please go. yoo -hoo and... <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> you can dance as well to these. These, this, these are for Kitty Roo. I know Kieran played a tune for her, but she deserves another tune. So this is for my mom, Kitty. Of your great dancers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this next uh, song has a chorus. I guess um, she may have a scream when they were in Kianti Fatherhain. You you might recognise the air of the song um, because uh, my father used to take airs and just put words to it. This particular song is called Shalt the Gala, which means white sails. And everywhere we go all around the world, we get people to sing this this the verse or the chorus. But what do we what do we what do we get them to sing? Chorus. Aye, that's right. The chorus. And so say all of us. <laughs> and it goes. Um, the story of the song is um, a man goes off to sea, leaving all his troubles and woe behind him, and he just that's the way he should be. Everyone should do this, by the way. And um, just not right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no troubles and uh, short the gala white sails. So. It goes, the chorus goes. Oh, yeah. So, this is what you have to learn. And I know. If you're singing exactly like Miranda. If the divers are down there now, uh, they know these words better than I do. So, Shalte Gala. You have to sing it really loud because I can't. One, two. Shalte Gala. 
Is that right? Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Then, no, no, that's good. No, we could do louder. One, two. One, two. Shalt And then I sing. Ski limit score, just need fill limit. You don't have to worry about that. And then you say. Yeah, but you have to worry about that. Ski limit score, just need fill limit. Don't worry. And then you sing. Smidic shalt of hats, body can on. Okay, one, two. Smidic shalt of hats, body can on. Actually, the first line is wrong. That's right. Gun, 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 gun. Could you, why you ever, could you talk? Gun. <coughs> right, you'll, you'll, you'll pick it up. <laughs> and sure, we probably will ourselves, too. <laughs> it kind of, I can't dissect things and then put them back together again, so you just have to pick it up, but you have to sing it really loud, okay? Oh yeah, Ganween Ganwadig, but just sing it really loud.
is another instrumental set from uh, the same album. We just call it simply the Ardra set because there's a tune in it uh, called the Ardra Girls. I don't know if they're here tonight. I'm not too sure. But. You do it? You say it yourself there now? Yeah. Oh, she need a like. Uh, well, I say it. Oh, yeah, you have to say it. Yeah, right. We've set it up. It's just really embarrassing whenever Martin says anything. So we've set it up that the alarm goes off <laughs> if he ever attempts it. Yeah. So that that that's working pretty well. It's an accordion player thing an issue that we've always had that they do, they don't talk. So this one this one wanted to talk. <laughs> oh, fucking way. It's for Ger and Anto, friends Martin, and they love our dra. So this is for Ger and Anto who love our dra. We all love our dra. <laughs>
Thank you very much. And of course, that last, very last tune was composed by Kieran Turishir. Well, <coughs> uh, it's called Kieran Turish is real. This is going out on the net here. So just, oh yeah, just that's to, right. Just I in got case that any, one wrong. In case anybody in Nova Scotia has listened to this, <laughs> it was not written by me. That's right. It was called Kieran Turish. It was written by. Two Cape Breton, but Doogie, Doogie, Doogie McDonald, we know Doogie, and who's the other fellow? I can't remember. I can't remember, but Doogie knows the other fellow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the great Jerry Holland, actually, I'm just thinking. But th that tune was composed for Kieran, and we decided to, it's such a wonderful tune, we decided to play it, to play it and to record it. But we have very special guests to come on now tonight. Um, these people have been coming to the winter school since they were little children and um, it's just wonderful to see that the music is continuing and being played so well and sung so well. So um, these uh, girls are from Glasgow but their father and mother are from Donegal. The usual thing, you know, Donegal and Glasgow are very close and uh, half of Donegal lives in Glasgow and half of Glasgow lives here. So, but. Um, they, they got all their music and their songs from their parents and their mother especially and grandmother and um, from the people up there in the Monshire. So please welcome the Freel sisters on stage to sing a song with, with Nia Neverne. Little Nia, my daughter, is going to sing with them. Hello, live trad. We've got a wee bit of an, an issue with height here, but we'll cope, won't we? There we are. We're going to sing a wee song called P Stands for Paddy. <laughs> and you can all join in at home as well. As I went out one May morning to take a pleasant walk, I sat myself down upon an old stone wall to hear two lovers talk. To hear what they might say, my dear, to hear what they might say. That I might know a little more about love before I'm going away. Peace stands for Paddy, I suppose, and J for my love, John. And the W stands for Valsley, oh, but Johnny is the fairest man. Come and sit ye down beside me, says together round the green. For it's a long three quarters of a year or more since together we have been. No, I'll not sit by you, she says, now nor at any other time, for I hear you roll another little girl, and your heart's no longer mine. Your heart's no longer mine, my dear. Your heart's no longer mine. For it's a just three quarters of a year, no more. And your heart's no longer mine. Peace stands for Paddy, I suppose. And Jade for my love, John. And the W stands for Paul's Leo. But Johnny is the fairest man. And I'll go climb in the tall, tall tree, and I'll rock the wild bird's nest. And when I climb down, I'll give a little thought to the girl that I love best. The girl that I love best, my dear, the girl that I love best. And down I'll come, and I'll go straight home to the girl that I love best. Peace stands for Paddy, I suppose, and J for my love, John, and the W stands for false Leo, but Johnny is the fairest man, Johnny is the fairest man, my dear, Johnny is the fairest man, and I know a little more about love before I travel.
the Frail Sisters and Nia. And the Freel Sisters have a new CD out that will be for sale on their website. And if it's not here, you can check their website out. Nishtai, we're going to... I, I, I annoyed Dai to <coughs> sing this. She insisted I sing this song. Now, this is a, uh, years ago, um, I think about 69 or 70, um, I made up a melody for this song. I found it in a book. And it's called The Death of Queen Jane. And the Bathy Band recorded it. And... Um, just recently, and I've, I recorded myself, I sing it, and it's about the, um, one of the wives of Henry VIII, who, uh, obviously a sad story. And uh, recently, actually it was about August, I, I heard that the, the Coen brothers had put it in their new film. So the Coen brothers, I live in Minnesota, by the way, you probably know from my accent. <laughs> and uh, the Coen brothers, who are these wonderful directors, they also live in Minnesota, so it was... Uh, kind of thrilled to hear this here. So we're, we're going to do it. Um, this is the Elton version of the song. <clears throat> Find my baby 
and find my baby. Oh no, cried King Henry, that's a thing I would never do, for if I lose the flower of England, I shall lose the prime. Too. I shall lose the brands too. There was fit and I and dancing on the day the babe was born, but poor Queen Jane beloved lay cold. A stone lay cold as a Thanks very much. Thank you, band. for a kiss and one of Paddy O'Brien's composition I think it's called The Turf Cutters and that's 
the opening track of our latest CD and there's a few of them for sale down at the door, blocking your exit. And online, of course. Um, this next song, I, I got it from Dahai actually because he used to sing a version of this called My Dearest Dear. And um, it's one of my favourite songs of all time. And then he in turn got this new version from Julie Glaub, a friend of ours from America. I hope if she's listening, please excuse me. It is New Year's. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful song of love and um, love leaving you and uh, how sad it can. It's just so complete. It's lovely. But love but and crows. Love and crows. Yeah. Yes. Talking to somebody about crows before that. Anyhow, sorry. <coughs>
ever night pearl falls to you, bright day would turn to night, bright day would turn to night, my home, the endless would Garage put in that drink, but it's it's, it's working. <laughs> and we'd like to introduce uh, another special guest here <clears throat> tonight. Um, he's been here for the last couple of days, and he's uh, a world-renowned singer. He plays with the the Chieftains, and his name is Kevin Kniff. Please welcome him on stage. Thank you. I have to tell a story. I, I have to tell a story. When, when Frankie and I first got married, we, we used to live in Scaries, and on a, on a Wednesday night, there was the tradition club used to go on. Was it Wednesday? And um, you, you, you can butt in if you want, Kevin. Well, I'll, I'll butt in. All right. just, just to mention this one thing, that over the years of having played with this fantastic group of musicians, there's one collection of words that strike fear into my heart, and that's when Mairead says, I have a story that I'd like to tell. <laughs> Oh, no, the story was that it's, it's to do with generosity, actually, and madness. Um, so we used to go in on a Wednesday night um, into the Tradition Club, and Kevin would be there, and he said, do you know, don't be going all the way out to Scary's now. Come back to the house. Okay. And we'd go back to the house, and we'd think, and we were teaching, and he'd say, ah, sure, we'll have a glass of wine, and then there'd be, like, a hundred musicians would arrive in, and we'd stay the night, and we'd have to go teaching the following day. We discovered tequila. <laughs> <then>. <laughs> <laughs> and Tour is here with the little skinny fella at the time. <laughs> that, that, that was a while ago, so... <laughs> anyway, I've been, I've been um, really immersed in the, the culture of Donegal for the past couple of days, and uh, wonderful singers and um, fiddle music, of course, from here. But um, for my song, I'd like to uh, stray from the Irish tradition and, indeed, um, an old American song, because... Um, since the great and lovely Frankie passed away, there's been an awful lot of people uh, on the music scene that I knew who also passed away, and uh, this song really is for them. Their master, I suppose it could be said, was in a lot of cases the music. And um, like even more recently, you had Peter Horn and uh, a great friend of a lot of us up here, Larry Roddy, who used to run uh, clubs in Dublin and uh, his attitude was that music was music and he'd have Seamus, Seamus Ennis on or Mary Bergen or Matt Malloy and a rock band so <laughs> on the same evening and uh, another great friend uh, who passed away was uh, Tom Crean who was involved in the, the tradition club with me so this song is really remembering all those it's called The Lone Pilgrim <clears throat> I came to the place where the lone pilgrim lays and pensively stood by his tomb and in a low whisper I heard something say how sweetly I sleep here alone. The tempest may howl and the loud thunder roar. The gathering storm may arise. 
Ah, but calm are my feelings, at rest is my soul. The tears are all wiped from my eyes. The call of my master compelled me from home. No kindred or relative nigh. I met the contagion and sank to the tomb. But now my soul o'er wild mountains flies. Go tell my companions and kindred so dear to weep not for me now that I'm gone. The same hand that led me through scenes most severe, has kindly assisted me home. The same hand that led me through scenes most severe, has kindly assisted me home. The great Kevin Kniff. <laughs> we're going to keep Kevin now because he plays the Boran as well, and uh, we're very lucky. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. That was a lovely song. We're going to finish off, actually, now with a, an old tradition, an old favourite here in this area. Uh, we have two highlands and two reels to play for you now. And uh, thank you very much, everybody, for coming out. Thank you to Adrian Cunningham and Sound out there Woo! tonight. <laughs> and, uh, of course, everybody for organising once again a very successful Frankie Kennedy Winter School. Sadly it's the last one uh, under Frankie's name but I'm sure there will be uh, future events organized to, to lure you from wherever you come from back to this area and if well obviously you know this area at this point and, and it's definitely a return destination so thank you all for coming out thanks to Garage and to everybody um, involved in, in running the festival. Connor Byrne, thank you, Connor. Yes. Uh, Maria, you might want yeah. to add to that. Well, I, I, I would just like to say thanks for everybody because we just had a fantastic 20 years remembering Frankie and um, what a way to remember him. Great. Thank you.
Kevin Kniff. Ramila Maigan. Mila, 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 Maiga. Mila, Maiga. It's just so lovely. There's a party going on in there. But, oh. um, There's a merry throng gathering in there. <laughs> There's a song um, that Martin Turish here wrote, and it's on our latest CD. And it's one of my favourite songs in the Gaelic language at the moment. You know, unfortunately, not many songs are being written in our language. I heard we Rosh and Yigonil singing a beautiful one this today in Hudi Bugs. I think her daddy wrote it. Gishakalanta Roshi. Na Grenye. Grenye and Yigonil. She was just so lovely. And, um, oh yes, Shachrina Marshall. This is Trina Marshall. We, we stole her from the chieftains. As well. She sneaked in behind me, I didn't ring. Two chieftains. Hello. <laughs> Don't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> but anyway, the song is, is one of the most beautiful songs. It's a song of loss. Uh, it's called Anyalag. Anyalag means the bunting, and it's about a bunting that perishes on a cold night. But there's, there's great hope in the song because it says, in the end, it says, Kali Astorin, Kali Astorin. Kali Astorin is Kasi Majirish, which means sleep my love, sleep my love, sleep my love, and we'll meet again. Okay. Kill one. 
Um, we're going to get uh, Fidel to come on stage and Dermot McLaughlin, please. Want me, Glover? If they're not partying too much in the back. There's a, there's a few others as well, I'll tell you. We're going to. Um, um, I, I composed a tune for Frankie one time. He was having chemotherapy in Belfast. And um, we were stuck in a snowstorm in Milwaukee. And uh, I thought I was doing great, so I rang the high up in his room because everybody used to just disappear when the, we'd be staying in a hotel. We'd avoid the, each other. <laughs> yeah, we avoid each other like the plague. So uh, we all started doing certain things. Well, tourists went drinking. <laughs> I'm only joking. We went playing pool. <laughs> Don't we did, that's, no, that's my Mark mentioned think. lines we don't like to hear from Red. One is, no, no. I was only joking. <laughs> yeah. That's a line we don't want anyway, to hear. And, no, and he the other one, of course, is, I'm going to the special jazz club this evening. <laughs> no, that's your line. I know. Anyway, <laughs> anyway the, the, the thing about it was that I started composing a tune. I was looking at the four walls, and I, I, I was really happy with myself. So I said, Dai, would you ever come up to the room? He says, gee, that's nice. Let's play it down the phone. Let's play it down the phone to um, Frankie. So I rang Frankie in Belfast. He was just like, aye, aye, yeah. Oh, it'll be lovely when it's finished. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not finished yet. <laughs> so a tune for Frankie. Thank you. 
please welcome on stage Dermy, Di Dermy Diamond, Tara Bingham, Danny Diamond, everyone else that's behind stage, the Freel Sisters, Tara Conahan. Anyone else that has an instrument come up here? <laughs> Cara Jamwini. Anna Nguini. They're all slow coming out because there's such a good party going backstage. Con and Connor Byrne, our wonderful organiser, please put a big hand together for Connor. Could we get the flutes in here? We have a striptease artist from last night <laughs> by the name of Mr. Seamus Begley. <laughs> Dermot McLaughlin said that he didn't recognise him with all his clothes on. He prefers standing behind the women, better for attack. Just, just for the record, these are the last reels. That, that's what we're calling these, okay? <laughs> and just for the record, thanks a million for coming out, but we'd love you all to dance. We're making a record. Thank you all very much. Good night, Frankie Kennedy.